Hello, fellow travelers on the journey of life. We're about to embark on an exploration of a subject close to all our hearts, the pursuit of happiness. But before we dive in, do us a favor. If you enjoy content like this, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us create more insightful videos like this one. Remember, each like and subscription brings us one step closer to understanding the diverse tapestry of human happiness. So are you ready? Let's start our journey into the universal pursuit of happiness. Who is happy? A simple question, yet the answer is anything but straightforward. The pursuit of happiness, a universal endeavor takes on different meanings depending on where you find yourself in the world. For instance, in Western cultures, happiness is often linked to individual successes and personal fulfillment, the thrill of achieving personal goals, the freedom to express oneself, and the opportunity to realize one's potential are seen as significant contributors to happiness. It's about the triumph of the individual, the satisfaction derived from personal accomplishment. This view of happiness, while prevalent in the West, is not the only way to perceive joy. Interestingly, the Western view of happiness contrasts sharply with perspectives from other parts of the world. In many Eastern cultures, happiness intertwines with social harmony and community well-being. It's all about balance, fostering relationships and contributing to the collective happiness of one's family and community. A sense of belonging, of being part of a harmonious whole, is key to feeling joyful. Now, let's venture north to the Nordic countries. Frequently hailed as the happiest in the world, their secret lies in a blend of social equality, trust in government, and a robust sense of community. In a place where the aurora borealis lights up the sky, the importance of nature and outdoor activities in contributing to overall happiness is undeniable. We then move across the Atlantic to Latin America, where the warmth of interpersonal relationships is central to happiness. Here the culture accentuates family, camaraderie, and social gatherings, reinforcing that strong social bonds are a vital ingredient to feeling happy. From the East to the Nordics to Latin America, we see distinct cultural patterns shaping the pursuit of happiness. Uh, let's now turn our attention to Africa, a continent rich in cultural diversity and resilience. In the face of economic challenges, African cultures find their joy in the strength of community, the rhythm of music, the grace of dance, and the spellbinding art of storytelling. These elements not only serve as a source of happiness, but also as a way to strengthen communal ties, foster a sense of belonging, and promote resilience. Music, often accompanied by vibrant dances, is more than just entertainment. It's a celebration of life, a conduit for shared experiences. Storytelling, an age-old tradition, weaves together the past and the present, offering wisdom, sparking imagination, and fostering a shared sense of identity and purpose. These practices underscore the universal threads of happiness that cut across cultures, relationships, a sense of purpose, and community. So happiness, it seems, is a mosaic of experiences and values that differ vastly across cultures. So who is happy? This question has guided our journey across the globe, exploring the rich tapestry of happiness in diverse cultures. We found that in the West, happiness often blooms from personal achievement, while in the East, it's rooted in social harmony and community well-being. The Nordic countries show us that social equality and trust in government can lead to widespread joy, while in Latin America, the warmth of interpersonal relationships feeds happiness. And in Africa, despite economic challenges, joy springs from community, music, dance, and storytelling. What's clear from our journey is that happiness, while deeply personal, is also a shared human experience. Those who connect with others find meaning in their lives and appreciate the simple joys are often the happiest, no matter where they live. Thank you for joining us on this global exploration of happiness. May you find inspiration in these cultural insights to cultivate your own happiness and spread joy to those around you. And now it's your turn. How will you cultivate your own happiness? Maybe it's through personal achievement, or perhaps it's in the warmth of your relationships. Maybe it's in the joy of music and dance, or in finding social harmony and equality. Or perhaps it's in all of these things and more. Remember, happiness is not a destination, but a journey. Your journey. And we're here to accompany you on this journey, sharing insights and stories from around the world. If you've enjoyed this video and found it inspiring, give us a thumbs up. 
If you'd like to continue exploring the world with us, click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's continue this happiness journey together. Because after all, happiness is a shared human experience. And as we've seen, it's an experience that can be as diverse and beautiful as the world itself.